So here's the point I want to make. And it's a serious point. Because you know your buddies, your friends, your colleagues, your homies that you're in this classroom with. Listen to what I'm about to say. If you know, think, feel, detect that a member of your group is obtaining information for this rhetorical essay from outside the realm of their intellectual capacity. You better not use their stuff. Because you have to submit this to rightcheck.com. And you don't want to end up with a huge part of your 3,000 word research essay plagiarized. So I'm not telling you you got to come to me and say this person blah, blah, blah. But I am telling you that when you're in your decision making process, that you better, and you know that person, hmm, and you should not use their stuff. How are we going to know? Oh, you know. We always know. We know. <laughs> we always know. <laughs> but being silent, you know, hear no evil. Oh, sorry. That's <laughs> wrong. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak all that stuff, you know. Uh, you don't want to do that with this one. You don't have to tell me anything. You don't have to tell me anything. Nobody got to come and rat their, you know, homie out. Nobody likes to rat. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> stitches get stitches. Okay, no. You don't have to do that. But don't use their work. Don't use their work. Warning to the wise. Don't use their work. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Don't use their work because the end result will be a huge part of your paper highlighted by rightcheck.com and you get the bad news. The bad news. No, you're going to try to encourage them. Encourage them to do it. I'm going to try to catch it. That's why we got all these homework assignments. And I'm catching it. So I'm trying to catch it. But we but. In the end, like I said, this is an individual project and a group project. In the end, you got to look out for yourself. Even if you have to do a little extra work, you're doing it for the betterment of yourself and your future possibilities with the SAT. But I doubt very seriously I will not catch these people. Miraculous roll, oh boy, here we go with the miracle stuff. Go ahead. Our, uh, our writings like, closely resemble some authors' writings. Yeah. Oh, my God. The right check will, ex it, right check didn't highlight and say that's plagiarized. No. They show you where it came from. They give you a readout. Yeah. Links that you can go to. Even suggestions on how to fix it. Give you all of that. All of that. They don't gonna leave you hanging. No, 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 no. You get all of that information. Suggestions how to fix it, where it came from, what parts is. And I can tell you now, it's gonna highlight four words or more that are the same in the same sequence in any other document. It's gonna highlight four words or more. And that's basically how it starts. My issue is not that four words, because obviously, in some instances, these four words may be commonly used together. I'm talking about paragraphs, highlighted, exactly the same, somewhat coincidence. You're right. No, ain't a coincidence. Not at all. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's like, that'll be information you quote if you're quoting directly or paraphrased. And uh, that being detected, is, that's the okay detection stuff. I wrote like one word in my introduction, it was from an outside source, like, it had like evidence for why I was like, 
No, no, no. And like I said, let me repeat it. Hello, hello, repeat it. Is she asking a really good question? When I use an outside source, listen carefully. I just said it will detect four words or more. So when you are using four exact words or more, quote it. Because if right check picks it up and is quoted, that's not plagiarism. It's the unquoted stuff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, it's the stuff you don't want the teacher to know you got from somewhere else that you're trying to use anyway. So, you know, if it's four words or more, just put a quote. It's just one or two words. It wouldn't pick it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes.